I'm going to give six players that I feel like are, are going to have a breakout season or at least have a much better season that they had the previous year. Starting off with breakout number one, if you're a viewer, you know I love this guy, Antonio Gibson. The running back of the Washington football team is set to have a breakout season. Head coach Ron Rivera wants Antonio Gibson to run more passing routes in that offense. I said when the head coach says that something is going to happen, it's going to happen. And I know you could say, oh, well, head coaches lie all the time. Well, Ron Rivera was true to his word because based off the preseason usage of Antonio Gibson and how he utilized them in different routes and formations and lining them up out wide and uh, even in college, he was more of a receiver than a running back. So, I mean, Ron Rivera is aware of that and he wants to utilize that. Having been in the position of coaching Christian McCaffrey, who is one of the best uh, receiving backs in the NFL, he wants Antonio Gibson to be the same. And to back that up, to back that claim up, Kyle Allen, quarterback of the Washington football team, stated, yes, we are using Antonio Gibson in a CMC kind of role in Washington during practice. So he's a star player of the offense. I know Terry McLaurin as well at the wide receiver position. But besides him, it's Antonio Gibson that is either the best player or the second best, best player on that offense. Uh, the only concern that I have with Antonio Gibson is that uh, I'm not too confident in the offensive line. During the preseason, they did not look that great. So hopefully Antonio Gibson will be better than we anticipate. But, I mean, the fact that the usage is there, Ron Rivera wants to use him as Christian McCaffrey. I love it. Antonio Gibson, breakout player number one. Breakout player number two. How about Jacoby Myers? We just kind of touched base on this with Cam uh, Newton and Mac Jones. This is big news for Mac Jones and Jacoby Myers and their fantasy football outlook for 2021. Myers is set to break out. As a matter of fact, here's a cool stat that I picked up on uh, watching uh, NFL Fantasy Live. 72.6% success rate, Jacoby Myers, against one-on-one -on -one coverage. That means when he's lined up one-on-one, -on -one, 72.6% of the time, he's going to make a successful reception. That's a very, very high number. As a matter of fact, you know who else has had a 72% success rate against man coverage early in their career? Allen Robinson and Stephon Diggs. Those are two very good players and very good company to be a part of. So I think that Jacoby Myers, the fact that you have that high of a success rate as well, you're going to get a lot more targets going your way with Mac Jones as the quarterback. You're going to have more accurate throws going your way with Mac Jones as quarterback. And the fact that in offseason, they've been talking about Jacoby Myers being the most consistent wide receiver in camp, I think it bodes well for Myers. So I like Myers as the number one target in New England, and he's going to go off in New England as the number one receiver. So Jacoby Myers, breakout player, number two. Breakout player number three, let's stay in the wide receiver category and let's talk about Mike Williams. I'm big, so big on Mike Williams. It just hasn't been working out as far as his career goes. So he's been dealt with a lot of injuries, yes, but also statistically he either gets a lot of touchdowns in one season and he may not get a lot of yards, but then another season he might get a lot of yards but not a lot of touchdowns. A perfect example of that, I mean – 2018, when Phillip Rivers was there, he had 10 touchdowns, but he only had 664 receiving yards. Then the year after, 2019, oh, he got over 1,000 yards, but he only had two touchdowns. So I think if there's any bridge for Mike Williams to, to kind of close that gap, it would be this year. And I think that Mike Williams is going to have a healthy amount of touchdowns and a healthy amount of yards, maybe like 900, 1,000 receiving yards, and maybe even like seven, eight, nine touchdowns. This could be the season for Mike Williams. And offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi, who came from the New Orleans Saints, has been running Mike Williams in that X spot. So the kind of same offensive system that uh, he was running in New Orleans with Michael Thomas in that same spot, Mike Williams is going to be running in that same spot. I also heard a previous report that Josh Palmer might also be running that spot, so they might be uh, kind of 50-50 in that. But Joe Lombardi loves Mike Williams, and that's why I feel like Mike Williams, breakout player number three. Breakout player number four, it is TJ Hawkinson. Hawkinson will lead the Lions in receptions, yards, touchdowns, every receiving category. This is what the beat reporter, 1020 men of the Lions, has stated that he has been outstanding in camp. 
tight end university as well. When they had all the tight ends together, TJ Hawkinson was head above shoulders, all the other tight ends. I like him a lot. And he, he kind of already broke out last year, 67 receptions, 723 yards, and six touchdowns. But the Lions, according to a report, are expecting much more out of TJ Hawkinson this year. Anthony Lynn is going to be running a lot of two personnel sets that favor the tight end as the number one target. They don't really have a lot of wide receiver depth or star power at the wide receiver position. So the tight end, TJ Hawkinson, will be the main target. Bring up player number five. Let's stay with the wide receiver category. The last one we want to mention, CeeDee Lamb. If you've been watching the NFL posts on Instagram, you know the hype behind CeeDee Lamb. They've been posting a lot of these amazing one-handed highlight reel catches that he's been making in camp. And I'm here to tell you to believe the hype in C.D. Lamb. Kind of broke out last season in his rookie season. 70, 74 receptions, 935 yards, and five touchdowns. So he already broke out. But what I'm saying is that he's going to have a much better season with Dak Prescott now healthy. Prescott expected to toss over 5,000 yards this season. That offense is crazy good. And Lamb is going to be the number one target eventually for the Dallas Cowboys. And I predict it to be... I predict it to be this season. I love Amari Cooper, great route running ability, and I don't think he's going to take a step down or anything like that. He's not regressing, but the youth and the talent of CeeDee Lamb is going to take targets away from Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. So I like Lamb a lot in this offense. And then the last breakout player that I wanted to mention, Zach Wilson. Tony Romo came out and said, do not be surprised if Zach Wilson is going to end his NFL career as being one of the, at, at the time that he's been playing, one of the top three to five quarterbacks in the NFL. And at first, you kind of read that, read that at first glance, and you're like, oh, man, a rookie quarterback. And uh, yeah, maybe you, if you said that about like Trevor Lawrence, who's been getting a lot of hype, sure. But with Zach Wilson, you're like, oh, come on, Tony, what are you talking about? And then you really think about it, and it's like, okay, I'd rather trust Tony Romo's uh, analysis on a player than uh, random YouTube or Instagram comments from these people that don't really know what they're talking about. So you can give your opinion on that, but I think that Zach Wilson having the graces of Tony Romo may actually turn out to be true. I mean, if you looked at how he played in preseason, he was great. Already developed a connection with Corey, with Corey Davis as his number one receiver. The throws that he's been making, the athleticism, He's been talked about being a raw version of maybe eventually in the future, if he polishes enough, he could be kind of like that Patrick Mahomes type of player. Maybe he won't be as good as Patrick Mahomes, but the style of play resembles that. So I like Zach Wilson a lot as a breakout player. He's still going to make his mistakes. Still is. Still is a rookie. Still going to throw some interceptions. That's okay. But according to camp, he's been accurate, aggressive, and comfortable in the Jets offense. So Zach Wilson, my last breakout player of 2021. To recap, Antonio Gibson, Jacoby Myers, Mike Williams, TJ Hawkinson, CeeDee Lamb, and Zach Wilson. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments, let us know what's, what are some breakout players that you guys have for the 2021 season.